On a wind beaten drilling rig a few miles off the Louisiana coast, things are getting dicey. We have real rough conditions this morning, rig boss Greg Bramlett, Aga mountain man, tells his crew during a shift change. Seas are running 8 to 10 foot swells. Of all the people employed in the Gulf with lots of to lose from the BP spill, oil workers are at the top of the list. The oil industry is a $150 billion a year business in the Gulf, slightly bigger than tourism and dwarfing, the $1 billion fishing industry. With the government imposed temporary ban on deep water drilling and permits for new shallow waters well stuck in limbo. Roughnecks, rustabouts and others in this field are nervous. Moving on, China plans to allow investors to channel renminbi deposits held offshore back into capital markets on the mainland, opening a new route for investors through the country's strict capital controls. The scheme, which is part of Beijing's drive to encourage greater use of the renminbi in international transactions, could be launched on a trial basis this year or in early 2011. BP PLC's oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico will drive down rental prices for deep-sea drilling vessels by about 20%, analysts say, creating an oversupply of rigs as demand slows. The Deepwater Horizon drilling rig that blew up and sank in April, thus causing the biggest oil spill in the U.S. history, has prompted President Barack Obama's ban on deepwater drilling for six months. This ban has now halted 33 rigs in the Gulf of Mexico and led Statoil ESA Anadarko Petroleum Corporation and Cobalt International Energy Incorporated to declare force majeure or suspend terms on their rig hire contracts. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.